Hey, how's it going? So now I'm going to be talking about Amazon Mechanical Turk and what that is. Uh, yesterday I have spun, uh, <laughs> I have spent a little bit of time reorganizing my own desk as well as uh, the way how I'm doing things. Uh, I'll be covering that later on this week. And the uh, first thing that I did, I have found this tool, which I personally think might be useful for many people out there. I'm here to cover uh, in more detail in this video. Amazon Mechanical Turk, often referred to as MTurk, is an online platform operated by Amazon that allows individuals and businesses to access large and distributed workforce to perform various tasks. Typically referred to as a human intelligence task, so it would require potentially currently it would require, from my personal understanding, some input by the person to comprehend uh, some of the tasks as well as it might require some of the manual labor, I guess, compared to some of the tasks that can be uh, executed by software. These tasks are usually small and straightforward and can include data entry image recognition uh, I currently done a little bit of research on this particular subject uh, currently AI don't have eyes but it will have in the future in the near future so it can uh, recognize images currently but that's uh, a matter of a month so perhaps for the next 12 18 months uh, I've been uh, my own personal research uh, I was doing but the AI will be able to recognize images as well as content moderation, survey uh, participation and more. So some of those tasks uh, that I have mentioned, so that's potentially a platform there for people who are looking to hire a number of people and uh, just uh, to well, perhaps carry out small tasks, perhaps uh, understand uh, what's written on a piece of paper, take that information and write down a piece of uh, paper, I guess. But with AI, with image recognition, so it's just perhaps uh, some of the straightforward tasks might become more complex, uh, complex tasks over time. Let's take a look at how Mechanical Turk works. Requests, there are the individuals or organizations who have tasks that they want to be completed. So they do have those tasks as well as requests created. Uh, as set price they are willing to pay for each task and specify the qualifications and requirements for the worker who can perform these tasks. So potentially Amazon, in, who might be a moderator, who would oversee uh, both parties and the way how they execute those tasks. One task need to, well, one party need to send the task. Uh, uh, Amazon need to take percentage, perhaps <laughs> some percentage, as well as making sure that both uh, parties are happy, most likely. <laughs> as well as to make sure that workers are able to perform those tasks. Workers. T Turkers? <laughs> okay. Workers are individuals who sign up on the platform to complete tasks in exchange for payment. I don't know why those uh, major top uh, technology companies keep coming up with new terms. Is it for legal agreements? How they identify uh, their employers? They would identify their employers as associates. Instead of <laughs> we inventing new words, usually, uh, if I would do it, I would be punished by algorithms. If I would be inventing new words, I would be punished. Some of the top tech companies were inventing new words just because they're jumping over some of the legal requirements for a company. <laughs> why why do they keep doing that? Instead of calling employee, they would call it Turkers. Turkers. <laughs> it seems silly. It seems silly, but perhaps there is a reason for behind it. Uh, not necessarily just uh, the reasons I uh, covered. I'm um, discussing. They can uh, browse available hits and choose uh, the ones they match their skills and interests. Workers are typically paid for each task they complete with the payment determined by the requester. 
uh, myself I have delved a little bit of research uh, to understand some of the problems up there based on uh, your key area of expertise uh, since we to some extent entering gig economy I covered this topic already there are a lot of platforms up there who can potentially offer a number of different opportunities right so I'm not perhaps promoting any platform in particular and perhaps in the future I'll cover other platforms as well which I might find interesting but overall so if you are struggling right now especially with uh, perhaps finding a second income stream perhaps there are some alternatives out there for people who are there to actually complete those tasks right so <laughs> I hope that people are there who can complete that as well as follow all the rules and the terms and conditions within the guidelines set in this particular case by Amazon as well as other platforms out there <laughs> worth mentioning kids human intelligent tasks are the jobs or tasks that requires again it's for legal agreements why they call this task like that <laughs> but uh, requesters create and post on the platform these tasks can simplify be simple or complex and they are very widely in the terms of difficulty and time required so depending on where you are currently that might be very simple task but perhaps uh, the way how people think so inventing new words perhaps is something that I myself are going to do in the future if I'll see a reason uh, <laughs> why I don't know I'm just doing a little bit of research in the last two or so weeks there are some companies that was uh, enter into lawsuits uh, based on definition side so if the, there are uh, lawsuit opportunities by definition right so people then will invent the new words just so they wouldn't get uh, into a lawsuit so I'm not entirely sure what's happening so uh, it's, but I'm not looking to get the <laughs> lawsuit so perhaps there's a reasoning behind that approval and rejection requesters review and approve the work submitted by workers if they find the work is satisfactory they find the work satisfactory they approve it and workers uh, get paid it's not that if not the work is rejected uh, and the worker won't receive any payments so very straightforward uh, so some of the people who I use some of the spotters are there uh, I would highly recommend to try to do everything yourself before hiring any professional sorry uh, myself included I can need to keep reminding myself of the benefits of trying to be self-sufficient and doing all the tasks myself instead of hiring people even if uh, usually it might cost uh, there's an opportunity cost right so but the use of my time so it's just uh, outweighed opportunity cost so there's a lot to take on board and take into account too payment workers accumulate earnings from completing tasks and requests are built by Amazon mechanical turn uh, for the work performed by the workers requesters can choose to pay workers in cash or Amazon gift cards or since uh, there are opportunities like that and uh, they have large infrastructure there for people out there who are interested in learning more I have published a book in this book I'm sharing all this information about uh, where to begin when uh, delving into your own body and trying to understand everything what's related to your body it's hard work right so where to begin when understanding it uh, perhaps nutrition rest periods as well as working out is some of those areas that I'm covering in very high detail in this book uh, myself I have uh, all qualifications as well as many many years of expertise and working with a number of different people myself in my professional career uh, I have done all this research and uh, I personally believe that I have found a lot of uh, blind points for other professionals who have shared a lot of information with me uh, and I'm covering this work that I personally believe would benefit uh, people either if you are just a beginner or uh, if you are a professional within fitness you can find this book in the description below as well as top readers has it Amazon Mechanical Turk is often used to, for tasks that require human judgment, input or verification and cannot be easily be automated by computer algorithms. 
yet. <laughs> but uh, it depends on how much interest, how much value there are to outsource that to your computers, right? It is commonly employed for research, data collection, uh, content moderation, and other tasks that benefit uh, can definitely benefit from human intelligence. However, it's important to note that the platform has received uh, criticism for low pay rates and potential exploitation of workers. I don't know nothing about that, which has led to discussions about worker rights and fair compensation. As well as I personally believe that uh, Amazon as a company, they look into launch number of different projects, right? So they do have infrastructure, possibly. Uh, some of the projects that you have launched, though I have uh, read a lot of reviews as a company on Amazon and so uh, the investments that they are making. Uh, so they, uh, Amazon as a company looking to build a fourth pillar, right? So they have three pillars potentially and they're looking to build the next one. And perhaps uh, they're looking at uh, some of the problems they can outsource themselves and how they can solve some of those problems for even uh, they perhaps stakeholders, but either way, so that would be potentially where we're looking to build it. But either way, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.